All right, let's talk about consumers now, animals. And we call um, animals consumers, if you didn't know, because they eat things. Uh, they all need to eat to survive, including us humans. Why are there no rabbits around? So I assume the student asking this was wondering why are they not right in my yard or why are they not in my neighborhood? Of course, there are rabbits in the area. We see a lot of them. I see them in my neighborhood in downtown Albuquerque. They're in Rio Rancho, they're in the mountains, but there might be a reason you're not seeing them right where you live or right where you're going for a walk or a hike. And that usually has to do with um, their ability to find their needs. So it's probably not good habitat for them. Or there might be another reason, like it's, you know, the weather makes it so they're hiding away in their burrow or something like that. Uh, but if it is because of the habitat, you know, they need the right kind of food. So they are primarily herbivores, you know, little plants low to the ground and uh, grasses and things like that. So if they don't have that, if you have just a dirt patch or not many plants or not the right kinds of plants, then they might not be able to survive there. They also need water. Uh, some animals need to drink more water than others. Some can get it more out of their food, but they need to have water. And they need some kind of good shelter. So they need to be able to burrow in the ground or under a tree or something like that. So if they can't find a good spot or if it's not a good area for them to hang out or they don't feel comfortable there, maybe they're worried about predators, you know, maybe there's a dog, then they might not stay there. So a lot of different reasons, but basically needing food, water, shelter, and enough space are the four things that make up a good habitat for a species. I'm curious, if you go deeper into the forest, will you find more creatures? Ooh, I like this question. It sounds like a fairy tale, kind of going into the deep dark woods, right? So again, every animal needs a certain habitat. So you won't necessarily find more creatures. It depends which creatures you're talking about. Some creatures do like it in the dense forest uh, where they can climb trees, like bears like to climb the trees and that makes them feel safer because there used to be grizzly bears here and so the black bears would climb trees to get away from them. But there are a lot of animals that prefer open meadows like rabbits, like deer to browse. Deer will go back and forth between the forest and the meadows. Um, you know, things like snakes and lizards are going to need sunlight. So if it's really deep, dark, dense forest, then that's not the best habitat for them. Same with birds. Some birds really like it in the deep forest with lots of different trees and shade and others like it more out in the open where there's been areas that have burned, for instance. All right, next question. Are there a lot of creatures in the forest we don't know about? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. How do we know if we don't know? You know, it kind of comes down to that, um, to be honest. And you might think that scientists and people would have found every species in the entire planet by now because we've had so many years studying it. Um, but that's never true. It's never been true. You know, in different generations, people think they've found it all. But every day, there are new species discovered somewhere in this plant, on this planet. And there can be hundreds discovered in a year. And a lot of those species are in remote areas, you know, deep in the rainforest or deep in the ocean, areas that humans can't easily go or there's not a lot of people living. But there was a mention of a species of salamander, I think it was, not this one, but a different one, um, that was found a little bit outside of Los Angeles. So sometimes there's species that we don't know about right under our feet, literally. So of course there's going to be more insect species and smaller things found, but there's even mammals found. There were, there's been monkeys found in recent years that were never known about. Usually those are species that aren't that common. Maybe they're endangered, maybe they're endemic or native to just one little area. Um, but yes, there are definitely creatures we don't know about in pretty much any ecosystem. As far as how many or where they are or what they are, your guess is as good as mine. So on that note, the next question is, what is the rarest animal to find in New Mexico? Well, honestly, the rarest animal would probably be one that we haven't found yet, yet, you know, one that we don't even know is there because it's so rare. But some species that my coworkers and I have been studying um, that are species of concern in New Mexico 
or the American pika is one example that lives only very high in elevation in northern New Mexico. The New Mexico meadow jumping mouse, which I've seen in the news recently, might be even more endangered than people realize. It needs very specific riparian habitat or areas along the edges of rivers. And a lot of those areas are being grazed by cows, and so that's ruining their habitat and their food source. The Mexican spotted owls are very rare. The Rio Grande silvery minnow is one right here near Rio Rancho in Albuquerque that people have tried to create side channels of the river and areas with slower moving water for the fish because they can't survive the way the river is now based on what humans have done um, with the river.